What is happening, everyone? Welcome back to Anchorage in the Storm. We are in part four, day six. Amen. We have conquered day one, two, three, four, and five. And I want to thank God that we made it to day six. Uh, the subtitle for day six is Lean on Me. The overall title for part four is Our Storm in Depression. So I know this is going to be really good amongst what we've read so far. And um I do want to say that the Bible verses that we study together should be written down for reference and knowledge. Amen. So when we go over our Bible study, we should be writing those things down, which I do off camera, but I am making a suggestion right now to um, build your knowledge in the name of Christ. Amen. So today's verses are going to come out of Psalm chapter 34, Isaiah 41, and John chapter 15. So going back to the beginning where it says, lean on me, this um, devotion is inspired by a beautiful song by Bill Met Withers, Withers, I was about to say Mathers, Withers. And it goes, lean on me when you're not strong and I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on for it won't be long. Till I'm going to need somebody to lean on. Please swallow your pride. If I have things you need to borrow for. No one can fill those of your needs that you won't let go. So when I used to sing that song, and I am off key because I just woke up, okay? <laughs> but when I used to sing that song as a kid, I did not know the lyrics that, that were not as clear to me. So I just like mumbled it. But it clearly says, please swallow your pride if I have things you need to borrow. For no one can fill those of your needs that you won't let go. And this is like, this is like revelation to me, like, because I, I, for one, do not hold back on what goes on in my life, especially to the people that are in my environment, because I'm a trusted person until you show me otherwise. But even then, you know, I got to nowadays I got to tug at God like, you know, is this person for real? Like, do they really care? Because. I, w I used to be coming to people, hey, can I borrow money from Cash App? Can I borrow this? Can I borrow that? This is what I'm going through. And people, those people that I used to ask money for or borrow from, they were, they was really laughing at me. <laughs> they really was going and they would give sometimes to the point where it was like, you know, I don't got it this time. But they was really going and laughing at me. And and today, I just, you know, I, I can look back and realize and recognize the joke in it for them. But for me, I could just say, thank you, Jesus, that I made it through to the point where I know God to be such a provider that I don't have to do that anymore. Even when I used to feel like I did, he came through. Amen. So this song really um, asks us to let go our pride and lean on those that we love, lean on those people that are dependable, not the ones that will make a joke out of what we need, but look at the situation. If they're making a joke, then they are not yet fully um, equipped with the fact that God provides and that um, he wants us to use each other as vessels to fill each other up on this earth until we meet him again. Amen. He wants us to motivate each other. I didn't even start the word yet, but I feel like I'm giving a word because there are some people that have so much pride that they won't ask for help, but they will laugh at the person that, that does ask for help, that does not have a wall up, that is okay with saying, hey, I'm not okay. Amen. So with that being said, shout out to Bill Withers. It's, 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 alive or dead. Shout out to Bill Withers. And um, Lean On Me is a great song. That is not the full song. So I do suggest that you listen to the whole thing as I will do a replay in my car for carpool today. Amen. There's something so beautiful about the nearness of a friend to lean on. Yes, you can study hope, wait on the Lord, observe if the meditations of your heart are set on him, and even sing your way into the truth. But these aren't the only tools to revive your joy. The empathy that goes hand in hand with a vulnerable friendship is something that can bring deep healing and a hopeful perspective. 
The friendship between David and Jonathan is something to be admired. They had each other's back, and Jonathan found himself disobeying the orders of his father, King Saul, to protect David. He was willing to put everything in the line, on the line, perhaps even his life, for the sake of his best friend. David could lean on him. It's nearness of friendship that led Jesus after three years of ministry to share with his disciples all that the father had shared with him. He no longer called them service, but friends. John the beloved knew this nearness and even had the comfortability to lean on Jesus at the last supper. The friendship was so real and intimate. The friendship was very real and very intimate. That was for somebody because I read that twice. Uh, acknowledge your friend. Acknowledge your friend today for, for being a friend. The one that does come back to you after argument. The one that is uh, relying on you for when they're down because you can rely on them when you're down. Amen. That was for somebody. The secrets of God could now be entrusted to them. And those secrets of heaven are a pearl of great price. Jesus himself exhorted us not to throw our pearls before swine. As in, you don't need to share the most intimate details. That's my dog. You don't need to share the most intimate details of your heart with everyone who comes along. There's no sense in unraveling your valuable inner thought life with an unempathetic or ingenuous party. But you shouldn't let that hold you back from seeking at least one safe individual, whether a non-judgmental friend or even a therapist you just met, to lend a listening ear. You don't have to go through your struggles alone, but can lean on trusted people and professionals that can support you in the process of healing. The time has come to not just lean in, but lean on. Amen. So before we get into reflection, I want to know how you guys are feeling. Is this helping you to identify the actual people in your life that you call friends? Amen. Now reflection says, think back on a time in your life when a dear friendship helped you go get through a difficult season. Is there someone in your life today who you feel you can be vulnerable with? And what is it about them that allows you to open up? Take some time to journal and reflect on the relationships that bring you the most strength and reach out today and say thank you. Amen. So um, this is asking us to really, uh, like I said before, identify the friendships in our lives because this is the season where we don't use the, the word friend lightly. I feel that in my spirit because like I said in the beginning, there were people laughing at me that I called my friend or even my neighbor. When I was asking for um, help in times in my knees and, you know, you feel comfortable because you look at the history, you say the history is there. We are at an older age where we understand life and for what it is, some of us, um, but not all of us. So I ask today that as you identify the friends that you feel like you have or don't have, please give grace in approaching these people, um, whether you're going to continue friendship or not. Uh, the reason does need to be said when you are cutting off people and and fr um, ending friendships. And it, it really does because it gives you an understanding of who you are. If you're the person being cut off and they say, hey, this is not working because this, then the third. You can take that knowledge and, you know, either you're going to be frustrated about it or you're going to say, hmm, let me look at myself. Let me check myself. Um and then vice versa. It's important for you to let people know on many levels um, how they disturb you, if they disturb you, so that they will not carry it into another friendship or another relationship. Um, because our character is what speaks to people the most, not our reputation. Now, some people may argue that you don't need to explain yourself to anybody before moving on from them, but I, for one, think it is very egotistical, and why wouldn't you want them to learn anything about themselves so that they don't carry a, a trait, a certain trait into their next um, incoming friendships or relationships? But that's just me. So in Bible study, it says um, in Psalm 34, Verse 17, the godly cry out and the Lord hears 
He saves them from all their troubles. The Lord is near the brokenhearted. He delivers those who are discouraged. Isaiah 41 verse 10 says, don't be afraid for I am with you. Don't be frightened for I am your God. I strengthen you. Maddie. I'm sorry for the interruption. Isaiah, I'll read it again. Isaiah uh, chapter 41 verse 10 says, don't be afraid for I am with you. Don't be frightened for I'm your God. I strengthen you. Yes, I help you. Yes, I uphold you with my saving right hand. And John chapter 15 verse 15 says, I no longer call you slaves because the slaves does not understand what his master is doing. But I have called you friends because I've revealed to you everything I heard from my father. Amen. That is the wrap up for today. So before my dogs start barking uncontrollably, because there are people um, setting out for the day and that she can see through the window, I'm just going to pray that um, we identify friendships today. We reflect on people's um, intention in our lives as we do the same, because some of us can have poor intention um, because we are only looking at the benefit in a situation or a friendship. We are only holding on to people for what they can do for us and vice versa. And it is not the way of God. Amen. So Father God, I ask that you lead us out into the day with identification, self-identification and an outward look on who is really for us, God. We pray that you bring forth like-minded people in this season as we want to know the likes of you through people. We want to discover hearts and minds that think like you, are just like you, and we want to motivate each other just to move forward and let go of the people that are not for us. In Jesus' name, amen.